Uh, you got the turbo train? Yeah, I got it right here. Okay, good. I can't believe it. We're actually filming the Roar Turbo Liner. No. no. Turbo Train. No. Not Turbo. Turbo Train. You're, You're not coming. You're out of the band. Turbo Liner. What a guy. Okay, good day, Jason Schron from Rapido Trains. You're blocking the shirt. Can you move over? Dan Garcia from Rapido Trains Inc. This is John Johnston. We're in his basement and his layout. And this is Justin Perry. We don't know why he's here. Anyway, today we're going to show you the N-Scale Turbo Train. We're very, very excited, especially me, as you could tell by the shirt and the hat. Um, I am uh, totally obsessed with the Turbo. My first memory was on the Turbo. I started Rapido uh, because of the Turbo, because I wanted to make an HO model of the Turbo. We made it 10 years ago. Uh, it looked great, but it sucked. It didn't run. It was a piece of garbage. So uh, we're going to fix that by bringing out an amazing N-Scale Turbo with 10 years of, of back and experience. We actually know how to make model trains that run now. Um, and uh, and we're going to show you all the features of the turbo on John's gorgeous layout, uh, including the different tooling, the different molds, um, and all the sounds. So we're very excited to show this to you, so uh, let's have a look. Well, both power dome cars are powered. Uh, both also have decoders, both have sound, so when you're running the whole train by it, you get the sound and the noise from both ends of it as it goes by. Let's start her up. Uh, hitting uh, F8 does the job. We've got a whole bunch of neat announcements that are on here as well. That is so completely awesome. The turbo comprises uh, two types of car. There's powered ohm car or PDC, and there's uh, intermediate car or IC. This here is uh, PDC 26. It's turbo club. In Canada, club means first class, doesn't mean lounge. Um, it's got uh, eight big comfy seats in the dome. Though we see one of our LEDs is blown out there, so it's a bit dark in the back of the dome. Um, and then it's got your uh, first class seating down below. Um, and then we've got two IC 33s. IC 33s, these have black comfy uh, first class seats in there and the extra space there's only 10 windows on the side because you've got a galley there inside the club car they used to prepare really really nice meals heat them up from the commissary then we have ic30 and 35 which are uh coach they were called turbo coach actually turbo lux i uh, don't know what that means but it's just coach seating you've got the blue seats in in coach those are 12 windows on the side then you've got ic31 IC31 is Turbo Buffeteria. It's got a uh, cafe area, like a, a snack counter on one end. Um, on the other side, it's only got uh, two windows on that side of the door because that's where the counter is located. Here, it's just missing one window, so it's got 11 windows on the side. Uh, then we've got two more uh, coaches. We have one more Buffeteria, and then we have PDC27. PDC27 um, is coach seating down below, and it's got bar seating up above. And uh, my early memories are in the dome on PDC27, looking out over the shoulder of the engineer. What, what an amazing experience. You can see the dual headlights there on the uh, front of the turbo, on the nose. It also has a gyro light, and uh, it also has a rear light, and the rear light's a gyro light too. The turbo has an ear-splitting horn recorded, and our model is recorded from the real thing. Listen to this. Oh, it's beautiful. <laughs> Let's make this thing go. <laughs>
One of the neat things about the train is that we've got all wheel pickups. You got drive wheels, single axle, single axle, single axle, single axle, drive wheel. Every single wheel picks up power and it transmits it through the train. So that way you're going to have really reliable uh, pickup and operation. And yeah, show uh, how we uh, clip it together. Couplers are so cool. <laughs> Check this out. Simple. And it's keyed, so you can't mess up the coupling. Yeah, it can only go one way. It's a double at one end and a single at the other end, right? Yep. Look at that, it clicks into place. And now we've got full continuity, it's not even on the track. Well, beauty. now it is. Beauty, beauty, beauty. Now this guy's starting up. This and that, that's awesome. Beauty goal, eh? Beauty goal. The American turbos, which were operated for New Haven and USDOT, then Penn Central, and then Amtrak in two different paint schemes, um, have a number of American-only features. Uh, the one that I notice all the time is the third rail pickup shoe. Um, they're on the dual axle power truck, and that was uh, for use under Grand Central Terminal so uh, that the turbo wasn't spewing hot gases underground. Say, hey, don't you uh, spew hot gases while you're underground? Yeah, I do tend to spew a lot of hot gas. So our guy, Dan Darnell, did the uh, paint job on this, hand painted, eh? Yeah, he did, a, did a fantastic job Fantastic on job on these guys. PDC 28 and 29 have a lot of differences from their uh, their Canadian counterparts. They've got more windows, they've got coach seating uh, in the dome as well as on the lower level. Um, this is IC 36 or 37. These were added in 1972 when the train was expanded from three cars to uh, five cars. You can see it's got uh, more windows. It's got actually 13 windows per side. Um, you have a good view here of the single axle trucks. Uh, the real train had pendular suspension, so it would bank on curves. This is IC 29, the one of the, the original intermediate car, um, and that has uh, coach seating plus a cafe area. You can see the cafe galley is behind that window. That's why it's dark. Um, this is the other IC 36 and 37, and then we have the other PDC, and you can see here that this sample's been beaten up a bit. It's missing its uh, its um, guidance arm there, but uh, really, really beautiful. You've got uh, all the grill work and the uh, the grab bar, another thing that uh, makes the American Turbo unique. All right, uh, let's pull out and uh, have a listen when we're running it for the Doppler horn. Um, I spent two days trying to make a fake Doppler horn using the computer, and then discovered I had an original Turbo Doppler horn recording. Uh, from years ago, so uh, yeah, just found it. Way to go, eh? Way to go. It's a really nice layout, John. Well, it's coming. It's coming along. It's coming Listen, along. I've worked on my little <laughs> once in the last six months, so I, I appreciate it. Anyway, uh, uh, all of our American viewers, yeah, don't think we've forgotten about you. Listen to this. You. John and Justin, thanks for having us. It's uh, it's been a lot of fun. This is a great layout. Oh, it was great having you here. The turbo ran great. It was fun seeing it. Well, it's 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 wonderful. I love the S curves in your layout. It's wonderful to see a layout under construction. Your bench work, the progress. <laughs> yeah, you don't know what that's like. Yet. <laughs> I don't know what that's like. <laughs> anyway, you can still order your turbo from your local hobby shop uh, or directly from RapidoTrains.com. If you're watching this after the deadline, have a look. Contact your hobby shop. Contact us to see if they're still available uh, because uh, we're very excited about this. These were pre-production samples, but uh, we're still. You can get a feel for how the final thing is going to look. Easy. Hi, I'm Jordan Smith, new president and CEO of Rapido Trains Inc. From now on, we're canceling all production and instead going to be making the Roar Turbo Liner in Z N H O T T. S G Scale 
full scale three rail and maybe even live steam. Looking at Jordan and we're yeah. scared. Whoa, whoa, whoa! No, come on, guys. Be more like. Out loud. Yeah, out loud, out loud. Whoa, 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 whoa! Okay, keep doing it. You're still filming? Yep. Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa! All right, that's good. <laughs>